President uh, Metsola, Commissioner Hahn, EU Minister Rosval, soaring illegal migration, an effective return rate of 24% of uh, individuals who should not be on European soil, unsustainable migrations, migration levels in Austria, the Netherlands, and Belgium. These are among the main reasons why migration is topping the European Council agenda. Italian and Swedish mo voters also played a role there, I might add. Last week, EU migration ministers declared there is an urgent need to strengthen the external borders, increase returns, and prevent irregular migration. How? The Commission claims there isn't money for walls in the EU budget. But there is taxpayers' money to waste on a 387,000 metaverse party that had less attendance than a July after ski party in Denmark. What about increasing returns? The Commission loves to dangle those development aid carrots. But it's afraid to stop funding countries that refuse to take back their own citizens. Here's some advice. Finance border barriers, cease funding countries who refuse returns, and stop talking about irregular migrations. When citizens hear you talk about illegal migration, that's when they will believe you're sincere on border protection. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President, uh, Honourable Members, Commissioner. Thank you uh, for your remarks and your comments. You have raised many important aspects of migration. It is, as many said, it's a complex and sensitive issue how we can develop a sustainable solution in the area of asylum and migration. As mentioned uh, by the Commissioner, uh, Commission President and several of you, we are currently facing large number of irregular migrants. During the informal meeting for the Ministers of Justice and Home Affairs last week in Stockholm, the Ministers discussed the external dimension of migration. There were interesting discussions on returns, readmission and external borders. It, was, it is important that we continue to moving forward for this work. Regarding the Pact of Migration and Asylum, we are all aware that the negotiations of the Pact will be difficult and are difficult and sensitive, and that this will require time. The negotiations within Council have been progressing at a very good pace, and much of progress was made last year. As many of you have asked for, the council, asked for the Council to deliver, yes, but I would also like to recall that the European Parliament also must do its part to adopt its nego negotiations mandate before negotiations on all the files can be initiated. One such case can be on, is on the return di directive. Since the beginning of the Swedish presidency, work has started on the legislative text on asylum and migration management regulation. We are confident that there is a general willingness among all the member states to make progress and agree on a system which would provide solidarity and, ele and elevate the burden of the effect on member states and improve the functioning of the current system, including addressing secondary movements. We recall the, what the joint roadmap between, uh, agreed between the five rotating presidency and the European Parliament foresees an agreement on, the, on all legislative, legislative proposals by the end of 2000, uh, 2024, 2019 and 2024 legislature. We will do our best to make this happen. Thank you again for the debate and uh, the presidency. We convey this to the European Council.